So today we're going to talk about um, aligning hatch patterns on a floor uh, after we have um, added a slope element to it. So I've just made a floor and I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to call it six inch tile. And um, there we go. And I'm going to adjust the material on it to be a uh, six inch porcelain tile. There we go. We'll just bring that material in and this, it has no surface pattern. So we're going to apply a model hatch of 150 millimeter square. And we're going to say, okay, and okay, and okay. Okay. And now when we zoom in, we can see that our tile pattern has been applied to our floor. And we're going to use, um, modify some sub elements and add a point here, like a floor drain, you know, and uh, give that floor drain a negative value to give our floor a slope. You can see our slope lines there. Now what happens when we do this is that our um, tiles are now out of alignment. You can see how they're sort of all over the place, but we can use the align tool, AL, uh, to realign all of these out of sync tiles, essentially. So you just pick one area as your kind of master area, and then you align everything else with it vertically and horizontally. It takes a couple of clicks, but we're almost there. Now, good as new. Um, so this is because it's a model hatch that we can do this. Model hatches are, you know, selectable, rotatable, um, and alignable. So don't forget, you can do this on your bricks, your ceiling tile, uh, and any other model hatch you have applied to a material.